God is opening your eyes to take it. Take your job, you've been searching for it. Take your business, you've been searching for it. Take what you've been crying for, you've been searching for it. God is honoring you. I'm not dying there. I'm not dying in poverty. I'm not dying like I'm not dying in stripes. I'm reaching my destiny. There's a place I'm seeing where God is taking me. Can I prophesy somewhere? You are going somewhere. Are you seeing a place where other people cannot see? It's where God is taking you. Let me show you some scriptures. Hmm. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7, Peter said, in verse 7, he said, the trial of your faith is more precious. He said that. It's more precious. <laughs> I don't know how I can tell you. It's more what? Precious. It's very much interesting. It's more expensive than gold. The trial of your faith is more precious. You are supposed to face, and the moment you are facing it, it's so precious. When God looked there, he said, look at my child. He's facing this. Very soon you'll be talking against it and say he has overcome. Look at my child. He was sick. And now, very soon, you'll be talking about the healing. Look at my child was poor. Very soon, we'll be talking about a big testimony that will be shocking neighbors. But many times, we complain on what we are facing. Why am I facing this? Oh, God, where are you? Hey, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I can't stand for long now. Oh, I'm weak. Oh, I'm about to die. Hmm. If you read Romans 4, verse 3, it says, for what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. Abraham believed God. And God said, this man is right for me. Can I tell you something that you don't know what Abraham had faced before? Can I tell you? Huh? The first thing, Abraham, God says to him, leave your family. Leave what? Your family, leave your kindred. And then I will tell you where you are supposed to go. If you can read there, God never told Abraham where he's supposed to go. He just said, I will show you where you are supposed to go. Abraham, the first challenge he was having was he had to tell his family. That's the first challenge. You have to say, my family, remember, I'm saving the living God. You say, I must go. The family will say, where? They say, no. God told me, we'll show you. I wish God, because Terah, the father of Abraham, was not believing God. He was believing, he was having idols. So, which God are you talking about? we we'll say, because here, here, according to our tradition, I mean, if you are supposed to prosper, you must build your house very close to me. I'm sure many of you, when you grow up, you found that, you know, there was a house of Mamgani, house of Mam Mamkulu, house, there are houses around there. The family must come together. But here, God was speaking with Abraham, Abraham, you need to leave your family now. And the first question, where are you going? The Bible says he believed God that where God is taking him is going to be a nation. He believed God. And God said, this man is standing where I'm standing. When we talk about righteousness of God, we're talking about the right standing with God. He believed God. He had faith that God, though he's like himself, defying his family, God is taking him where he's saying. We need to have Christians who says, yes, I can see the scripture is saying this, but here in my situation, it's like everybody can question me, but God is going to fulfill what he's saying. So here this man believed. Number two, remember, this man had no child. 
it was like the generation of Abraham was going to be cut off. Where is going? No hope, no future, nothing about his family. Sometimes God can put you to a place where there is no family, where there is nobody who can understand you. And where he's taking you is real because he will take you there. Our God is God of destiny. Sometimes when you are facing what you are facing, you don't know God is taking you somewhere. If you can go to a point where you trust your family, you are not fit for God. Let me say it again. If you go to a point where you trust your family, you are not what? Fit for God. Because here you can see, this man, God says to him, you see what? If you want to see me doing something for you, leave these people. Why? Because if you don't leave them, Remember, they worship idols. If something good happened, they will say, is this idol? Are you hearing me? So even you, you are here today, people are fighting, you don't understand. People are rejecting, you don't understand. Whatever you are facing, they are telling, God is speaking, leave them, leave them, so that I establish you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I speak establishment in your family, in your life. The rejection you are facing, the opposition you are going through, the tough times that you are going through. I mean, the stories you are hearing against you. You don't need to take it very serious because where God is taking you, that's what he said in his word. If you believe his word, you will see what God has spoken in his word. God is God of his word. He says, my promises are yes in Christ. Amen. Even today when you are here, something will happen to your life. God can take you where you don't know. But he knows you are going to enjoy the place the best. Amen. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Abraham, believe God. You know, the trial of your faith, can I tell you about the trial of your faith? What it does on you, it just tries to train you to be the best. Eh? So that the fulfillment of time that God has set for you, when you come forth, you'll be suitable for that standard. People who praise the living God won't praise you. I mean, when God delay you for a while, it's for the purpose of God. When God allow you to face what you're facing, it's for the purpose of God. God can sometimes leave you in the dark because he wants to train you to the level where you will reach a level that will shock everybody in your family by breaking a record. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When you are facing trial of your faith, the pride is being removed. You know, the mama's baby is cut off. I mean, you know, <laughs> whatever you believe, like the cry without reason is cut off also. There are some things that you don't need them on the other side. So that's why your faith will face trial. God is cutting you to a right shape. Cutting you to a right shape. You know, some people are wrongly wired. So, those wiring have been cut off. This one is cut off. This one is cut off. The one you were groomed, the way you were groomed in your family will cut off. Until you represent Jesus Christ. The way God wants you to be. You know, the, 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 the talking, the way you jest, it will be cut off. There are things that God wants to cut out of your life so that when you talk things will happen you know when you have faith when you speak something you say there will be a car here there will be a healing here there will be a blessing here it will happen so whatever you are facing is working for that level where you can reach a position of your father God so that when God says let there be light even you will say let there be light there it will happen so God wants to position you in a way that people when they look at you when you say there will be a rain here the rain will come this year, people will see your record. Yeah. Your amen is very weak. Yeah. It's panel beaded. Yeah. It's in spaza shop. Yeah. People who think you are amounting to nothing, they are about to read about you. Yeah. They are about to talk about you. I see you breaking a record in the family. I say, say I'm breaking a record. Can you speak like you are meaning it? Say, I'm breaking a record. 